citizen. There's nothing more I can do. I know the truth. I know the truth, man. Ryan, good morning. Jeff in Las Vegas. Thank you for joining me today. Hello. Good morning. Yes. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. Uh, wow. What an uh, exciting action film. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, I, I, love, uh, I love the plot of the film. I, I love uh, Emil Hirsch is a world-class hacker looking for his wife. And John Cusack is trying to find him before others because he has a bounty on his head. Uh, I, what I love about the film, it doesn't waste any time. I mean, just seeing, I mean, you're knee deep into action five minutes into the movie, you know, so it's it kind of a, as a cursor of what's to come and this movie never lets up, you know, and uh, true to its title pursuit. I mean, it's just one constant chase. I mean, the action never lets up. Was, was that difficult to do? Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, you know they, they, they only give you a finite amount of, of money and, and then you go, okay, how am I going to achieve all this with what I, what the resources I have? And, and fortunately I had an outstanding stunt team. I, I, I had a, you know, world-class DP and, and, and great support from the producing team. So um, yeah, I mean, it, it was difficult, but at the same time, you know, it, it came together and, and everything you see on the screen, all the action, all the explosions, all the gunshots, all that's practical. You know, I, I like to do as much in camera as possible and save, you know, I'm, I'm not a, let, let's, let's take care of it in post guy. I, I like it all there in the camera. So. Well, I was trying to figure out in this movie, who's the villain? Because Emil Hirsch, you know, he's, does kill a lot of people, you know, but hey, they kidnapped his wife, right? So I'm starting to figure out who's really the bad guy or is it just, this is how all the bad guys kind of group together and fight each other. Uh, you know, I mean, I think that was kind of it is, is I wanted to tell a story where it's, it's people are great, but they still have human qualities. And, and, and you know, it's uh, anti-heroes is, is one of my favorite, you know, kind of stories. And so, I think that's where Emil falls into. I mean, absolutely, I could see telling another story about Emil's character because he's so interesting and uh, and and just uh, the the you know I mean ultimately Breslin is the good guy, the, the police officer who's chasing Emil. But at the same point, I I, I I force it in a way to where he has to make a decision. You know, is is he going to stay good or does he going to cross the line to get his motivate get get what he wants? And uh, I, I think that's more true to real life than than these you know gray and you know black and white type scenario that you know sometimes we'll put into and john cusack is always intense man and just the little he does in a movie just goes a long way doesn't it oh yeah no john is very subtle um you know and, and this was something that he and i developed over a couple of months and we talked about and when when you know he came to set there was just he, he brought that character and that presence and and it was fantastic i mean um, he says so much without even saying a word. And, and he's always cooking steaks in your movie. Did you notice that? <laughs> Every scene he's cooking steaks from the middle of the film to the end of the film. I'm like, I wanted a, I wanted a T-bone by the end of this movie. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it, it was it was a little of a, you know, kind of like a, a foreshadowing of events. You know, it was, uh, and the idea is, is he's retired. This is what he likes to do. He likes to cook for his grandson. You know, he, he's a retired mob boss. And, yeah. and, you know, well, he's got good taste. I'll tell you that. <laughs> and, you know, I love greatest American hero in your movie too. William Cat, you know, as a County state trooper. Uh, I just, I thought that he was great. You know, there, yeah. I don't know if you noticed, there was a little blooper with him, you know, that I thought was hysterical. Uh, when he's jumping into the car, you know, to go uh, towards the end of the film, his gum belt kind of slips. Did you notice that? Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> I love the yeah. door. I mean, I need grab, and he grabs it with one hand as he gets in the car. I love it. So I thought that was my favorite, but he was, so, I just love, I'm a big fan of his, you know, being generation X watching, you know, growing up watching him. And that's what I love about this movie is you have some of these classic actors in there just you know, giving these small performances, but they're unforgettable, you know? Yeah, no, but Bill's a, Bill's a long time friend and, Really, when I, I told him I was doing the film, he was like, look, I'm going to drive out. I'm going out to see my son anyways. Um, whatever you got for me, I'll do it. You know, and, and, that's, and that's the relationships I have with, with, with my actors is, is, is you know, I'm I, like Bill, he'll call me. What, what do you got going on? I'm in whatever it is. And, uh, and it's fantastic because you're right. It, it does allow for these other roles to be filled with, with familiar faces and just outstanding actors. And Brian, man, this movie's brutal. It's bloody, it's gory, shocking. 
I mean, the knife and hatchet fight, grenades, a tongue ripped out. I mean, I have to admit, you shocked me a couple of times, which I wasn't expecting because you know, you've seen action movies like this before, but that was different. And I thought that set it apart that because I'm like, wow, it's really showing some visceral action than just Hollywood action. And that kind of just made me think different about email. It made me think about all these guys are playing for keeps. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I you know, and, and it really comes down to uh, telling a story that, that you care about the action. I think that's, that's probably the way you engage an audience with action is, is, is creating, creating situations in which you actually care about the action, the characters within the action, the guy in the car, the, you know, and, and, and and then that way, when something happens, it's like, whoa, like you said, it's visceral, it's shocking. And, and I think that's that's an important facet to action films that gets lost. It gets yeah, lost. hanging him upside down, wrapped in plastic. I was like, wow, that was just, that was shocking, you know? And But I, I love the surprises you have in this movie. But I have to admit, I love you do the classic walk away explosion at the motel, you know, when he throws the <laughs> grenade in there and he walks away. I'm like, yes, you know, so that that was one of my favorite moments in the movie too. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that actor was, was like, you know, he's like, I'm not going to flinch. I'm not going to flinch because it was a real explosion. <laughs> right, right. Oh, no, I was noticing. I was looking for some camera trickery and some and CGI. Man, you were using some live effects, you know, oh, and that just added to the authenticity of this movie. Yeah, no, that explosion, 100% real, 100%. So. Well, Brian, congratulations, man. And uh, thank you for joining me today. And uh, let's talk again soon. All right. Sounds great. Thanks for having me. You bet. Take care, buddy. Take care.